What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I will be showing you five Photoshop shortcuts that every graphic designer should use. So guys, before we get started with the video, I would just like to quickly thank bookmark.com for sponsoring the video. If you don't know already, Bookmark is hands down one of the easiest and coolest website builders out there, letting you create your own personal website, whether that be a design portfolio or an online store in the matter of minutes. It uses an AI website builder, which means you can create a site with no technical knowledge. If this does interest you make sure you head over to bookmark.com and you can find more information on how to get started there. So guys, as many of you know, keyboard shortcuts are very helpful, especially in Photoshop. They can save so much time. For example, say you want to undo something, instead of heading over to edit and pressing undo, you can simply press control Z. However, I'm sure many of you know those basic shortcuts, for example, control Z, control S to save. In this video, I'm going to be going into depth with a few more keyboard shortcuts that you may not know already, which are certainly going to help you when designing. Of course, there are hundreds of different keyboard shortcuts that I could go through in this video but like I said I will be going through the five keyboard shortcuts that I believe not too many people use in Photoshop and uh, they certainly help me and speed up my design process. So without further ado I won't ramble on any longer let's go ahead and begin with the first keyboard shortcut. Okay so to begin here with the first keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you how to actually view a uh, document in the largest size possible. Of course this header for example you can see is quite zoomed out at the moment and I can't actually see the headers details uh, in all its glory. I could of course zoom in but then it might be too much so in order to make sure that it fits the document size perfectly all you have to do is just press ctrl and zero on your keyboard and as you can see that will cover the whole canvas size. This way you are able to see the whole design and you can of course make adjustments while viewing it all. Also one really quick bonus tip that I would like to give you uh, is when you're zoomed in on a design which is ctrl plus if you didn't know already to zoom in uh, you can of course navigate normally using your scroll wheel or these bars at the bottom here but a way to do this a lot easier is just holding down on uh, the space bar there on your keyboard and just using your mouse to navigate around this will make it a lot easier and it doesn't actually snap into place like uh, of course when you're using the scroll wheel you can only go so far but with this um, it makes it a lot easier and also quicker so uh, those are two really quick keyboard shortcuts let's move on to the second one okay so moving on to the next shortcut here I'm going to show you how to either either hide or view multiple layers at the same time. Now you may think to yourself all you have to do is uh, press on the eyeball icon on them and that will of course disable them or you enable them uh, the other way around. Now you can of course do this however there's a much quicker way and I will be showing you how to do that now. So say for example uh, all of these layers here I want to disable them. Instead of clicking on them individually like so all you have to do is click and hold on the first one and of course that will disable it but while still holding on your mouse you just want to move down and as you can see that will gradually just disable these layers. As I said once you are doing this you want to make sure that you are still holding on on your mouse which is the uh, left click and yeah just scroll down and as you can see that will enable them or alternatively if you do the opposite click hold drag up and that will uh, enable them simple as that. But okay so moving on now to the third keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you how to access camera roll filter without going over to filter and of course camera roll filter. Now you may think this is a very unnecessary shortcut however once you implement stuff like this in your designs all the time it will make it a lot more quicker okay so as you can see here is my design and in order to access camera roll filter all you want to do is press ctrl shift and a on your keyboard and as you can see it will take a little while to load but once it finally loads oh, it's just not loading is it um here we go and there we go camera roll filter will go ahead and open up uh, i needed to crop this because of course we've got all of this excess here uh, surrounding the header but you you understand there uh, control shift a will go ahead and open up camera roll filter nice really quick keyboard shortcut uh, that definitely works well okay so the next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you how to move a layer that could possibly be at the bottom uh, of your layers panel all the way up to the top now of course if you don't have too many 
layers then you can just drag it up uh, but when you have this many waiting for it to go up to the top it takes too long say for example this phase logo here I want to move up to the very top of the document all you have to do is make sure that it is enabled and press Control shift and then the right square bracket on your keyboard it will be on the screen now so you can see uh, press the combination of those and as you can see that will be moved to the very top of your document this can come in handy so much uh, like I said waiting for it when you've got so many different layers does take too much time so if you just press Control shift right square bracket it will appear at the top and finally guys the last keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you here is actually merging everything into one single layer now this does sound like it's easy and I know a lot of people will do it this way they will go ahead and group all of their layers like I've done here um, press Control J and then wait for that and then press Control E and that will be merged into a layer but there is a quicker way around doing this okay so first of all you want to go ahead and group all of the layers uh, you don't actually have to but it will make everything a lot more organized so just shift on a top layer in your uh, layers panel shift on the bottom and then press that group icon down at the bottom and that will be grouped from here you want to press Control alt shift and E so it's quite a big combination as you can see that will go ahead and duplicate the group and then also merge it into one single layer so this way it is going to save you from doing multiple keyboard shortcuts you can just do this one as you can see now that group is just one single layer so from here I can add final adjustments like camera raw filter and stuff and it will work a very simple keyboard shortcut but once again very very effective and it will save you a lot of time anyways guys that is it for the video hopefully you did go on to enjoy if you did then make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated also if you are looking to improve any of your graphic design skills make sure you check out my design store over there I have a load of different design packs that I personally use which will certainly go on to help you and finally I would just like to mention if you are not already subscribed to my personal channel make sure to do so I'm really enjoying posting the content over there at the moment and uh, yeah it's honestly doing amazing so if you could check that channel out that would be much appreciated as well and of course if you enjoy the content subscribe anyways though as I said hopefully you did go on to enjoy the video this has been visual or James and I'm out peace